back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good weekend. As for me, I have to apologize. I haven't posted in quite a while. I had some personal issues that I had to deal with, but everything has been taken care of. I am back with new content, new episodes, and I am super excited about today's one. As you can tell from the title, we're going to touch base a little bit on StockX early payout. I am going to share with you guys what I was able to sell, what I was able to buy for our How to Resell Sneakers series. Without further ado, let's get it started. So if you guys remember back in January, we started this series, How to Resell Sneakers, and we had an initial investment of $2,000 Canadian or $1,500 US. We said that we want to make at least 15% profit. That's going to be our non-negotiable. We're going to look at places like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, sneaker groups, sneaker outlets. That's where we're going to get our stuff from. And in terms of selling, our go-to will be StockX and GOAT. Uh, we might try eBay, we might try the local marketplace, or we might try the, the um, Facebook sneaker groups. And so that's how we started this series. We went and we purchased a couple of items, we sold them, we made some profits, we reinvested the money and so on. So we did that three times, and this is gonna be our fourth episode. Now, some very good news because I didn't post in such a long time, I was actually able to sell all my inventory. So from my initial investment of $2,000 Canadian, I'm now up to 3,400. So that's a good 60, 65% profit uh, over the course of, I would say a month or a month and a half. Everything that I had is now sold. I'll give you guys a breakdown in a minute when we're gonna go on the computer but just wanted to share with you guys some items that I was able to purchase for this episode. Some of them are already sold um, because I, I was planning to do this episode a couple of days ago, but I had to delay it because of uh, the personal issues. Um, nevertheless, this is what's left. I'm gonna share with you guys all the items and then I'll give you some numbers when, you, when, we, uh, when we go downstairs to the computer, okay? So the first one, it's really interesting. This is the Easy 450, Cloud White, I believe, or people like to call them the dumplings. It's really interesting shoe. Personally, not my type, but I was able to get them for a really good deal. And as you guys can see here, I actually got them from Essence. And I'll probably touch base uh, more on how I was able to get them in the next episode. Next, we have a sneaker that I picked up from uh, the local sneaker groups. This is the Jordan 1 Low SB. It's called the Midnight Navy. These are really hard to come by nowadays. I remember when they came out, they were super easy to get. I had about four or five pairs, but I haven't seen a dead stock pair in ages. And I was really hyped that I was able to get this pair. Next, I have a Craigslist purchase. So I actually went on to Craigslist. There were a couple of items that I, that I uh, was looking to buy. And I ended up with this Jordan 6 Maroon. It was an OG guy collector. He had a couple of pairs and his wife just wanted him to sell them. He wasn't gonna wear them. This is a dead stock size nine. Uh, Jordan 6 Maroon. Picked up from Craigslist just cause I wanted to see if I can still make some numbers from there. And then we have some Nike outlets pickup. This is a woman's shoe. It's an Air Max. Air Max 90 is like PRM, bright crimson, purple, pure platinum, sorry. So nothing special, right? Um, and I remember I saw this um, probably a month ago when I first went to the outlets and I just pass on it because if you can see here, it's a blue tag, $100 Canadian, so no additional discounts. But a couple of days, or actually last week, when I went there, I said, you know what, let me check the code, right? And fair enough, on GOATS, for example, the smaller sizes were going for like $300, which is crazy, 300 US, right? I actually managed to get a smaller size, like an 8.5 woman's, 
and uh, yeah, it sold for I want to say 300 or maybe 280 US. I'll give you guys the numbers again down. Um, but just to show you guys, those are hidden gems, right? And stupid me because I passed initially. I usually look at the pairs that have that extra 30 or 40, and I didn't really thought about this one. But last time I went, I was like, I'm gonna check every single pair. And again, you should be doing this. It doesn't matter the price, they're always a hidden gem. This is my situation, I'll give you the numbers, so um, I'm not making it up. I bought three pairs, already sold two, and then this is the last one that I have. And moving on, it's a uh, Nike Air Vapor Mask 360. This is a men's shoe. Um, decent, not my style, but the numbers look good. And this was, it was, it was pricey. It was 170, but then it also had that 40% because of the red tag. So I believe I bought four. I already sold and shipped two. I'm shipping one more. And then I have one that is left. So this uh, concludes our purchases. Some of them are uh, I've sold already, especially for the Yeezys, for example. I have three pairs. They're sold. Um, you know, the um, Air Max, the Vapor Max as well, they're sold. But I'm going to go downstairs now. I'll give you guys the numbers and I'll try and list them and sell them quick for you. Okay, quick note before we go downstairs, I told you guys I'm gonna touch base on StockX early payout uh, because I just got accepted into this program and in my opinion, it is a game changer, it is a deal breaker. Uh, now, if you're in the States, you probably know or you probably heard about the um, StockX early payout. I believe it's in Europe as well. But for us in Canada, although I've been a tier four StockX member since early 2019, I never got access to their uh, early payout program. So basically what that is, is let's say I sell a shoe, right? I sell this shoe, I get it ready, I pack it, I put the label on. As soon as I go to UPS, I drop it off and they scan it in their system, <clears throat> I get paid right away. No questions asked, right? So instead of waiting that extra you know five seven days maybe two weeks right now with the pandemic instead of waiting that time for for my payout i get paid right away as soon as i drop the package and it gets scanned i get paid and why it is a deal a deal breaker for me or a game changer think about the cash flow right i don't have to wait two weeks to get my money and then buy new items I can get my money as soon as I ship the items and then I have it available to reinvest and then have that cash flow going, right? Now, even if I'm still at like 15%, I can use that money and within a couple of weeks, I can make more, right? So that's why personally, I think it is a game changer. I will link the um, article, I think it's an article on StockX. I'll link it down in the description if you guys are interested to um, find out more. Now, obviously, if something were to happen with the shoes, once they uh, would receive them, let's say the box is damaged or they find a stain or some yellowing or whatever the case might be, obviously they're gonna send it back and they're gonna take my money away, okay? So be careful if you're in the early payout program, just be honest and be fair, okay? Don't send shoes that you, you're not confident that they will pass. With the outlets, it's pretty straightforward. They haven't been tried on, There's dead stock, the boxes are good. If you buy from local sneaker groups or marketplace, make sure you double check the items before you ship them. Uh, because if it happens, you know, more than, you know, three, four, maybe five times, and then your seller ratings go down, then they will take you out and there's nothing you can do to, uh, to get back in. So really careful when you do this. Um, I believe it's only for the tier four. Yes, it's only for the tier four sellers, but it shouldn't be a problem. If you're in the reselling uh, game, it shouldn't be a problem getting to that level. All right, so 
that's what I wanted to touch base and talk about StockX. I really appreciate their business. It's available now in Canada that they opened the local warehouse. I actually had one of their, uh, their sales manager reach out to me. Uh, we had a nice conversation. We had a nice chat about, you know, just the general feedback how I see uh, my business going with StockX and you know things that they can improve. And I'm really happy that they listened. Within a couple of weeks, he sent me an application for this uh, early payout. I got accepted and I'm ready to take my business to the next level, all right? So let's go downstairs now. I'll give you the numbers for all the shoes that I bought. We'll see what we sold, what, we pro what the profits look like and so on. As when recording, as I mentioned, I'm gonna share with you guys what I was able to purchase. I'll go over the last sales that I was able to make. So if you see here on the top, this is the first one. We started with almost $2,000 Canadian. We made 435 profit. So that's an average of 22%, well over our minimum 15%. And then for our second investment, we only spent 1500 Canadian. We made $508 profit, 32%. For our third episode, we spent close to $1,400 Canadian. We made almost $400 in profit, so that's about 28%. And then now for our fourth episode, this is what I was able to purchase. Um, some easy 700 V2 creams. I no longer have them. Uh, simply because I wasn't able to uh, record any videos in, in, in a while. But I was able to get a size 7 and a 7.5. And, and along with the Easy 450, the Cloud Y that I just showed you, I got a 10, 11, and 12. These came through an Essence VIP account. And I'm going to talk more about this on my next episode. Uh, for the V2, for the 700, I paid 410 and I was able to sell them for 500 for cash. And for the uh, 450s, the Cloudwide, I paid 350, and I sold one for 450 cash, another one for 500, and another one I sold on GOAT for uh, 423. Um, this is US dollars. And then I made 167. So really good profits. Um, I have the SB, the Midnight Navies. I bought them for 450 Canadian. Um, I already listed them on StockX and GOAT. The Jordan 6 Maroons, size 9 DS, I paid 330. Uh, again, I've listed them on GOAT. StockX is not really uh, um, a good margin for me right now. Uh, but here I am with the Air Max 90, the PRM that I mentioned. So look, the size 8.5. 112 Canadian and I sold it for 251 US on GOAT. I'll put a print skin for you guys and you know I made close to $200 so profit wise 175% like that's insane. Um, the bigger size is I sold the 9.5 for 120 um, US on StockX still 35% decent and then for the uh, Vapormax the 360s I had size 9, 9.5, and, and two tens. Bought them for 115 Canadian. I sold one on GOAT and two on StockX. Um, if you remember, StockX right now has free shipping and GOAT is still at 20 US, right? So that's why margin-wise it's not the best, especially for uh, lower value items. Um, I would rather sell on, on StockX. If you check here, I made 36% compared to 23%. And then again, if you know, if I were to add that twenty dollars, because if you're in the U.S., Goat is only charging you fifteen, so I would I would have had another sixty dollars Canadian profit. But it is what it is right now. Um, so our investment was three hundred, sorry, three thousand four hundred and forty-six Canadian, or two thousand seven hundred and thirty-five U.S. I already made a profit of 942 Canadian, so it's 27%. Well, we're well over our 15%. And I still have one, two, three, four items that I have to sell. So I'm guessing my profits will end up close to maybe $1,100. So somewhere between 30 to 35%. 
which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what we did. I'm not going to go over the stock is and how we list them and goats. I'll just show you some print screens with the sales that I made. It should be a lot easier. It's going to save us some time. But stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to talk about the Essence VIP account and how good it is for me in terms of business. If you look at these numbers, these are well below the market value, right? Like for Cloudwise 350, and I'm easy, I easily flip them for 450 to 500. So well below markets, especially as the same with the V2s. And I went for base sizes seven and seven and a half. I paid 410 and I was you know able to flip them in less than 24 hours for five hundred dollars cash. I made my profits, I'm gonna move on, right? So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Um, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to touch base on the Essence VIP account. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless.